Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Asiatic for Ill Philly TV and today we're gonna do a pull list. This is my pull list for February 6, 2019. It's a lot of good books that are out today. A lot of good covers, key books, and loads of variant covers. So let's begin. I got so much things to show you guys and we are starting off with Avengers number 14. What you see at the moment is the wrap around variant. And see it wraps around. That's the back one. I just, you know, put it on a mylar like that so you can see the full wrap around cover. And I don't know why. There's it looks like an E1 or an ET at his belt there. But anyway, that's the first one. I also have the cover. Uh, a normal cover and um, there's a good story on this one so check it out I'm not gonna spoil it but if you're not getting this um, title please check it out Jason Aaron is doing great work on that one so yeah Avengers number four in and another big book that is out this week is Conan the Barbarian number three I got a few different covers on that one. I think that's the Greg Land cover. I also got the normal cover. I got the Horatio variant. I didn't know it's even he's from my country. I didn't know that. I just found that today. It's one of those guys who um, founders of Image. I also have the second printing of number two, black and white variant. And number one, um, second printing of number one. I thought they're all amazing covers, guys. As you know me, I'm a sucker for covers. That's why, you know, I'm getting my, what they call this one, my pocket gets a pummeling when it comes to like variant covers. But yeah, those are a lot of different covers for Conan. Check it out. Great story as well. You know, you're not going to get disappointed if you like sword and sorcery stuff. And um, Conan is really good at that one. He's There's going to be a new book, I think, coming from next week, which is The Savage uh, Sword. Uh, if you guys saw, if you like the, the Conan Barbarian, this one, check that out also. So next up, we have Marvelous X-Men. Age of X-Men is a new miniseries. Um, I only have the one cover for that one. I think I have the um, Storm variant on this one. I just need to check it out on the pile. But um, Wolverine, Long Night. Um, it's the podcast adaptation. That's number two. I've been enjoying that read. That's why I ha continue reading that one. Uncanny X-Men, number 11. This is the Rob Lightfield variant. This is a $7.99 book, so beware of the price. You might get a shock, but it's a thick book. Um, I heard good things about it. If you guys haven't been um, um, following Uncanny X-Men, you know, the first 10 was a weekly issue, and then it did some good reviews, especially if you're an X-Men fan, which I definitely am, and I love Wolverine, so I got that cover. Okay, I'm trying to want to blaze pass through all these um covers because i have a lot today so sorry as well with the noise um killmonger number four this is a mini series as well i think it ends up on the number five so it's an amazing story um black widow is also in this story so check it out okay um Red Sonia, Sword and Sorcery again. That's an amazing cover, you guys. Check this out. She took the head. Because, you know, you have um, Conan the Barbarian, and then now you have Red Sonia, but Dynamite, which is surprisingly good um, storyline, actually, and the uh, artwork inside is really good. Normally, you only get Red Sonia for the covers, really, but the story in this one, it's amazing. But if you haven't checked it out, Dynamite, you know, it's really good. So that's the first issue. 
because you know with the Conan um, Conan as well and Red uh, Sonya being on the same um, realm before but now Marvel got Conan back and a few months from now I think Belit if you don't know Belit is like the love interest of Conan she's gonna have a new um, series as well uh, so look out for that if you like sword and sorcery kind of style Lady Death a lot of people are a fan of Lady Dead, especially me too. So I got a few covers on that one. Check them all out. Beautiful, beautiful covers. And it's very limited as well. So I got a few of them. I think I got one, two, six covers. So if you like Lady Dead, indie support it. Okay. A big one from the big books. Sorry about the noise. Like I said, uh, as you can see, um, you can hear uh, we're fixing our bathroom and we're doing some tiling. So there's some workers working in the next room. Sorry about the noise again. Next up, um, it's a, it looks like an art jam variant, but actually it's Derek Chu. And this is Harley Quinn 58, I believe. A lot of people like it, some people don't. I just bought two just in case, but it's not bad. Bad cover, it's not actually my taste. Um, I will show you later my cover of the week. Uh, Lone Ranger number four, this one came out last week, but I didn't get my copy, I just got it now. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, the Esad Rubik. One in 50, I believe. Um, just got it now as well. I think that's an amazing one. He's also doing the interior work for Conan the Barbarian. If you don't know, this guy is Sadrivik. He is a good, good artist. Underrated, but he's good. Okay. Next one. Nice. Number three, American Gothic Press. I don't know. This one... I haven't heard a lot of people talking about this, but I've really been enjoying this one. So a lot of people sometimes they just collect comics for the first appearances or, you know, if there's a death or origins. But like some people really, really read their comics. But if you guys do read your comics, check this out. Nice. It's an amazing story. This one also came out last week. I just had to grab it. It's Shazam. Number two. There's a appearance there first appearance i uh, can't remember who that is but um check it out number two okay talking about belit this is a true believer that came out today which is the reprint of um conan the barbarian number 58 first appearance of belief that's the love interest of conan i also have the original of that one actually it's on my, um, it's hidden, but I'm not bothered to take it out. But maybe next time when I do all the key books that I have, um, I'll show that one. Miss Marvel, this is a reprint. It's a true believer, just came out today. It's a reprint of Miss Marvel number one, first appearance of Carol Danvers. Uh, as you guys well aware, she's going to have a new movie, so that might be hot as well. Check it out. Prodigy number three. This one has been amazing so far. Uh, Mark Miller, Miller Word is going to be on Netflix. So if you haven't been checking it, you know, better check it. Also a good book. Die number three. This is, um, sorry, seems like it's not showing because of the glare. But this is the Jen Bartel variant. I love Jen Bartel. Also, the mall number two. This is a variant. It's a Scarface variant. I also ha already have the normal cover. They've been doing a lot of like cover swipe from old films, classic films. And I thought this one is an amazing cover. So I have to grab that one. New one out this week. Vindication. Um, Top Cow image, Top Cow, I think that's a good one. Uh, only have one cover for that. The Freeze is continue to be a cool book. Get it? 
see what I did there. Okay, Star Wars, Age of Republic, they've been doing a lot of one shots and all that. So you can see the price, I haven't even checked it, but it's $3.99. This is the, um, um, the variant of it, so it's a bit more expensive than the normal price. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Batman 64. This is a tie-in with The Flash. This is not a Tom King, Tom King, by the way. This is written by Joshua Williamson, and it's the beginning of a new story arc. It's called The Price of Justice Part 1. They're also going to have a, another tie-in with Flash. It's called The Cold Case. But, um, yeah, this is like a kind of like an interlude before um, Tom, Kim come, Tom King comes back and wrap around the story arc that he left from 60, I believe. Okay. That's the variant that I was talking about. The Age of X-Men, Marvelous X-Men miniseries, the variant one, Storm. I thought that's a sick cover. Highly suggest you guys get it. It's hot, that one. Okay. Trying to be quick and precise and snap flash hustle. Written by Peter Shand. Um, that one's supposed to come out Christmas time, before like Christmas. But the thing is, it got delayed because I don't know what happened. Normally, on Christmas time, it's hard to get comics in in UK. So it's been like you know they they cancelled it and delayed it, and but now it's here. I love this story so much. I don't know. I have subscription in like three or four different shops and I didn't know that I have it all subscribed on those shops because it was so hard to get. It's only like three or five copies per shop that they've been getting. Not a lot of people know about this one. So I got three of them. And, uh, you know, if you're subscribed to a store and, <clears throat> you know, I have to honor it. I can't just like say... Yeah, I don't want it anymore because I took it from the other shop. That's not fair, though. So what I did is, like, I just get Project Superpower number six. This one is a really good book by Dynamite. This is a Matina cover. And I also have the Varian cover, which is a six sick cover. Okay. <clears throat> Super Sons. Um, there's a teenage, a new appearance of a teenage Green Lantern in here. So check it out. I just got that one cover just for that. Um, haven't been reading that one. Uh, big story for me, big book for me is Daredevil this week. Because I seriously love the Daredevil. I didn't like the Charles Soul uh, run, but this one is written by Chip. Sidarsky and I like that writer. He's been doing an amazing job so far. So I got this one is the normal cover. You also have a variant. That's a 1 in 25 variant. This is the Delota cover, which is 1 in 10. So I got like a few of those ones. Uh, four. I got four covers of that. Sorry, I just dropped the big one. And I have the big book, which is the Jamal Campbell variant, which is one and one in fifty cover. So big, big, big book, big collection, and uh, hopefully it's gonna be a nice story because so far all the Daredevils that I read from back in the days as a teenager is is amazing, and I like that character so much. Last batch of books, and we're ready. Old Man Quill, another old character that they've been pushing. You know, I think there's an appearance here of the old um, old raccoon, and um, you have, you know, they've aged in this story so far. And um, I have the normal cover, two of them. I also have the one in 25, I believe. That's $4.99, that's more than a cover price and for me the book of the week 
incredible hope continue to amaze me <clears throat> al ewing is phenomenal with like i think that's alex alex ross still the cover i'm not sure if it is but i have two of the normal variant and i also have the normal variant the normal cover and the variant sit and then but the story of the week for me my story my real real cover of the week is the empty man number four if you guys been in my channel you know i like horror books i also have this savage shores which is a horror book as well but it didn't come today maybe i'll show you guys that next week and this is number four it's an amazing cover colin bunn been writing a lot of horror when it comes to horror he's one of the best guys and i thought that's just a sick cute little sick cover cute sick pretty you know female furies <clears throat> Number one, that's also a Matina variant, you know, um, with all this controversy about Matina, he still produced great work and um, yeah, I hope he does more original work. Um, but this is not bad, especially with the New Gods film, they saying that, you know, uh, Big Barda and <clears throat> some characters for Mr. Miracle have something to do with the film so they're pushing this one i don't know it's gonna be good but check it out but this one is a good story one this is the girl in the bay burger comics b-e-r-g-e-r -E -E burger it's not like a hamburger book <coughs> burger comics slipper one of the best ones i've read so far it's only a one and a four so it's only four books so but it feels like, you know, it's a, a script for a film. It's about this um, girl that um, got attacked and um, she thought she died. And then 50 years later, she came back and then, you know, someone's living her life. It's an amazing story. Check it out. Hey, I keep saying check it out, check it out. But yes, check it out. So every, those are my books for this week. That's a bit faster. I like it like that. Hopefully, guys, you support my channel. Subscribe in Ilfili TV. I'm going to do more content for you guys. An amazing thank you for watching. This is Asiatic, and I'm signing out. Peace.